let's see, when, when we think about inexperienced cooks and helping them, how do we get people who are really not cooking, who are not familiar with techniques into the kitchen? Um, can they learn to cook without traditional recipes, Michael? Um, absolutely. I think not only can they, but they should. They should look to technique. We have to teach people not to be afraid in the kitchen. I think people don't cook because they're afraid. Right. They're afraid I'm going to fail. Again, the food industry has told us we're too stupid to cook. That's why, you know, it's too hard. You can't bake a cake. You need a box. You need a box cake mix because it's too hard and you're too stupid and you're too lazy to cook. So uh, that's the message America's getting. And that's why people don't cook. That's why many people don't cook. They're afraid of failure. It's too hard. They can't do it. Uh, and I think that as long as we go out there and say cooking is not that hard, that was what that roast chicken was about. People ask me, how do you roast a chicken? Or, uh, you know, I love Thomas Keller's roast chicken uh, recipe. It's, it, it's just putting, it's salting a chicken and putting it in the oven. That's right. it's not that hard. What we're talking about is saying how much I loved um, Michael's blog on roasting a chicken. I think it was like right around January, first week of January. And it was a great piece of like, it's, it's simple, it's safe, you'll be okay. But you should go back and reference that. Yeah, it's called Too Stupid to Cook. Um, I think that was the name of the, the blog post. We are, we're, we're, we're training that cooking is hard. Cooking is not hard. Um, if you can make it hard, um, and you can screw it up with cilantro. But, um, <laughs> and we've all done stuff like that. <laughs> um, especially if we're cooking a lot. Um, I think the message has to be, life is better when we cook for ourselves. Um, we're healthier, we're happier, our relationships are better. The, the, the smells of, of cooking in a kitchen relax us in a really deep and satisfying way, way we don't even really necessarily sense or acknowledge, but do. Um, when, you, when you talk about recipes that way, um, when you talk about food and cooking that way, uh, then you encourage more and more people to cook. More and more people are cooking. You have more opportunities out there, both simple and complex. I think it's never been a more exciting time to have recipes, never been a, a more exciting time to, to innovate with recipes and to see what we can do with them and how, you know, how, how, how much more we can encourage people to do in the kitchen. We're just starting.